next. I'm not happy! Don't don't mistake the smile on my face for happiness. Liar. Hey, what's going on y'all? Jimmy Mack from the top of episode 11 of season 1 of Hannibal. Will has uh, something going on in his brain. Physiological. Something actually wrong. Hannibal killed the doctor that knows this and is hiding it from Will. Fantastic. Let's get to it. Once the patient is exposed to the method of manipulation, it becomes much less effective. When Dr. Gideon began to suspect he was being pushed. He pushed back. The subject mustn't be aware of any influence. Which is what he's doing. Jesus! Let's skip an episode? I feel like I missed something. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Trespasses. What trespasses are those? You made me kill a nurse. I take responsibility for killing my wife and her family. The nurse is your fault. I cannot accept her. Dr. Chilton, you told me I was the Jasper River, and that's what I thought to tell everyone. See you in court. Where's Eddie Izzard actually from? He said trespasses like, um... Trespasses. Like, um... Christoph Waltz and Django. How do you keep those whites so clean? That's always amazing. What the fuck? Me. <sighs> you know this is a setup. Jesus. Police radio, two nine millimeter handguns, pepper spray, taser, and handcuffs. Well, that's what he didn't take. He hung the organs from the branches with the veins from the victims. He even tied little bows with some of them. Local PD picked up a foot trail leading out of the woods. Boot soles are consistent with the ones we found at the crime scene. How fresh are the tracks? Seem three hours old. Which direction they headed? Back to Baltimore. Doc in trouble? I hope so. Fuck him. Well, what the fuck? Is he about to snap for real? Telling him he's not in a state of mind to know who he is. Oh, he's gonna want somebody to tell him who he is, and I think he'll be looking for the Ripper to do that. Why would he kill his wife and kid? Kill his motherfucker! Freddie Lance? Uh, my name is Paul Carruthers. I'm a psychiatrist. I read your article on Abel Gideon. Thank you. You calling about his escape? Well, yes. I'd like to collaborate on an article I'm writing for the journal. <laughs> she, I don't know if she's dead, but she's in deep shit. She literally just walked Dr. in front of the door. Now, you wrote in your Tatler archive that Chesapeake Ripper once removed a man's tie and used it as a bookmark for his Bible. They call this the Columbia. What the? F Dude, this is some fucked up repugnant shit. That is, that is one of the more disgusting Paul things. Carruthers wrote an article I've seen. How is this news already? Somebody from the Baltimore PD must have taken. Yes, Freddie Lounge. You might be working out the emergency exit. Anything you want to say? I did enjoy the article you wrote about the poor nurse who killed, but it didn't really seem like genuine Freddie Lowndes. Ooh. Jack Crawford told me, aren't you the Chesapeake Ripper? Oh, Miss Lowndes, I might be slightly fuzzy in this area, but there's no need to patronize me. I'm sorry. You're waiting for the Chesapeake Ripper to come back here. 
Toby gets the invitation. There's one thing we know about your writing. He is an avid fan. This is fantastic. And disturbing. Dr. Carson Nahn, he's a psychiatric attending. Gideon isn't alone anymore, and the Ripper isn't going to risk exposure, so no, he's, he's, uh, he's telling us where to catch him. It's the last place you saw a severed arm, Jack. <sighs> that is dope! With experience, <laughs> I'm way too excited. Inside my mind, Frederick. It's only fair to get inside your belly. This is, of course, Freddie Lyles, who you know. She will be assisting me today. Or assisting me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Then we're gonna watch this? I'm not happy. Don't don't mistake the smile on my face for happiness. It's uh, imp I'm impressed by the show. Thinks he'll get caught or something. I don't fucking know. I'm worried about the lock. No, 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 no. Well, you in no state to go anywhere but the hospital. Need a gun? Absolutely. This is beautiful. It's kind of amazing. I'm disturbed. I'm so intrigued. I'm so excited. But I think, I think I, I think I am in love. Tough shot. Just shoot him. Just really stand straight. How's he gonna shoot straight? You gotta get closer than that, good buddy. Kids about a lot, at least. That part was still there. Hannibal's 
They will be sewing up Dr. Chilton. But our experience is shapeless, Jack. How is this experience going to shape well? I don't know what you fucking facilitated it. He's so awful. You said that already! Madness can be a medicine for the modern world. You overdose and it can have unfortunate side effects. They can be a boost to our psychological immune systems to help fight the existential crisis of normal life. I love that. Okay. What does he present you with? The opportunity for friendship. What? You must force yourself to take a step back. Just watch him lose his mind. Sometimes all we can do is watch. Who wants to watch? Otherwise you'll let him know something wrong with his fucking brain. <laughs> Alright, that was episode 10, 11. 11 of Hannibal. I must say it's probably my favorite episode of the series. I definitely, I, I love the show. I, I will, I, I, I fucking, I give up. I still, no more need to fight it. I love the show. I love Hannibal. And I'm letting go. You win. Fair enough. Um, and apparently I love Hannibal more than I thought. Because what he's doing to Will is fucking awful. It is. Sorry. I still have Hannibal. I, I can't explain it. I think right now there's Jack and then there's Hannibal. In that order, but just barely. Hannibal is gaining. He's gaining fast. Uh, you guys asked if I, one of you asked if I've seen some. I'm sorry, I'm going to start remembering names and shit. Uh, people who asked me questions. <laughs> uh, if I'd seen uh, any of the other adaptations. Um. I did not see Red Dragon. That's the prequel, right? No. I saw Sounds of the Lambs. I liked it. Hannibal Down oh, Right! That's what I wanted to say. It took me a minute. Um, this interpretation of Hannibal to me, if I can make a comparison, don't take it too literally. It's an analogy. Very much feels like a uh, uh, Star Wars prequel Anakin to Darth Vader where there's gotta be and we have time. We have two more seasons, apparently. Well, there's got to be... If... Let's say this, the fucking series ended now, right? And then you jump straight to Sounds of the Lambs. I would go, we're missing a gigantic gap between this Hannibal and the Hannibal in Sounds of the Lambs. The portrayal in Sounds of the Lambs had a lot more uh, flourish to it. He's like a performer. He's almost like the Joker... Uh, cartoon or comic book, not a uh, movie. Um, it, it's it's a it's performative. This one is kind of straightforward, kind of classic <sighs> psychopath, quite frankly. Uh, kind of dead on the inside, kind of. But that aside, it feels like the more we go down this path with Will, the more Hannibal kind of seems to be opening up. Not open literally, like <laughs> literally, but not. Uh, emotionally to Will or something, but just his mannerisms and expressions. I think he smiled like twice in two episodes now. He didn't smile for the first six or seven. Um, so there's that. I don't remember Jack from the fucking uh, movie, so I couldn't even comment on that. Um, <sighs> fuck, Gideon? Is that his name? Glad he's dead. Um, he deserved to die. Um, I'm concerned about Will a lot. A lot. Like, is he going to become a fucking serial killer? It feels like something awful is going to happen to Will. He's not just going to get better. He's either going to become a murderer or he's going to put a bolt in his own brain. Um, I have my fingers crossed that that's not the case. I just love this show. First, that first 27 minutes, I usually check every once in a while, see how long it this has passed, how long it's gone. And every time I check something, usually it's like, oh, 15 minutes have passed or 20 minutes have passed. I did it. 27 minutes have passed. The fastest 27 minutes ever. It was fucking fantastic. 
Everything just built perfectly. I loved it. I loved it. Um, I love the way they were like talking to each other, Hannibal and uh, Gideon, but with dead bodies. And then for Will to pick up on exactly what that meant. It was all fantastic. Wow. I loved it. I loved it. That's enough. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.